Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And tonight's content, I am so excited to bring this to you because while it is a little outside of the direct gun control tie-in, Biden may have just found himself into some actual hot water with some congressional Republicans who are now subpoenaing the FBI around a whistleblower around pay-for-play politics for money. This is going to get spicy. Everything is linked in the description box below, and I cannot wait to hear what you guys think about this one. And if you are new or you are a returning viewer, please consider hitting that like button, subscribing to the channel, and making sure you turn the notification bell on. We need as many people as we can to get into the fold with us to help pass the blessing of the Second Amendment along to the next generation. And thank you so much in advance for your consideration. All right, my brothers and sisters, as I mentioned in the introduction, this is a little more pure politics than we usually cover on this channel. A lot of the times we hit on very specific gun control, gun rights politics. However, this has a direct tie-in to the one person, the administration, that has a, all the controls and pulling levers of all the executive overreach, the ATF overreach, all the gun control that we've seen over the past two and a half years. Biden, this doesn't look too good. I'm going to lay it out. Let me know what you guys think. Let's hit it because this is breaking as of today. Republicans allege unspecified Biden scheme fire off new FBI subpoena. So at a very high level, there's now two people, two high players in the Republican caucus who are going after the FBI saying they knew about something Biden did at a VP level. I'm going to have the letter for you here in one second so you guys can share it out as well. House Oversight Chair James Comer on Wednesday dramatically escalated his investigation into President Joe Biden with a subpoena Wednesday to the FBI citing the broad outlines of highly credible whistleblower complaint. Now, I'm just reporting this as it's coming out. I don't know anything beyond what this article is stating. However, this letter, which I'm about to show you, this is a powerful letter. And if you're coming out swinging this hard with nothing, you got a pair of cojones. But my gut is telling me they think they have something more than nothing. Check this out as we go through this letter. Again, it is linked if you want to see it. Via electronic transmission, this is from Congress of the United States, dated May 3rd, 2023, today. The Honorable Merrick Garland, Attorney General, Department of Justice. The Honorable Christopher Wray, Director, Federal Bureau of Investigation. Dear Attorney General Garland and Director Wray, we have recently legally protected, excuse me, we have received legally protected and highly credible unclassified whistleblower disclosures. Based on those disclosures, it has come to our attention that the Department of Justice and the Federal Bureau of Investigation possess an unclassified form that describes an alleged criminal scheme involving, involving then-Vice President Biden and a foreign national relating to the exchange of money for policy decisions. It has been alleged that the document includes a precise description of how the alleged criminal scheme was employed as well as its purpose. Based on the alleged specificity within the document, it would appear that the DOJ and the FBI have enough information to determine the truth and accuracy of the information contained within it. However, it remains unclear what steps, if any, were taken to investigate the matter. The significant public interest in assessing the FBI's response to this information, as well as growing concern about the DOJ and the FBI's track record of allowing political bias to infect their decision-making process, necessitate exacting congressional oversight. The DOJ and the FBI appear to have valuable, verifiable information that you have failed to disclose to the American people. Therefore, Congress will proceed to conduct an independent and objective review of this matter, free from those agencies' influence. That's from Senator Charles Grassley, and that is from Representative James Comer. Now, essentially, this is a congressional subpoena to the FBI to produce those documents. The date of production must be by May 10th. So they have a week. Now, according to this letter, they're saying there's a whistleblower that has verifiable and valuable data that they're saying the FBI didn't tell the American people at least, and at worst, they just brushed under a rug because of political bias. Now, that would be a situation, wouldn't it? All right, let me check this out, or let me show you this last piece, and then we will wrap this and kind of tie it all together what this could mean for our gun rights. The subpoena compels the FBI to require, require over any FD-10023 forms, the formal term for records that describe conversations with a confidential human source. From June 2020 that contain the word Biden, the forms themselves, regardless of their content, do not independently amount to evidence of wrongdoing. 
The FBI has until May 10th to hand over the documents according to a copy of the subpoena obtained by Politico. Now, again, I want to emphasize as much as I can, this is just the reporting on what they've done. This isn't saying guilt. This isn't saying innocence. This is just saying what's happening. Now, extrapolating out from that letter that I just read you a little bit, if you're looking at that terminology and you're looking at that verbiage, that's pretty strong verbiage to go after a sitting president's documents around something as serious as policy for money decisions. Because that's straight up corruption that is, according to the letter, verifiable and valuable. Again, that's according to the letter. That's not me. I'm not saying it. I'm nothing. Very, very hands off on that side of this. However, the implications of this are massive. If that is true, again, if, if that's true, you've now got anything that you need to impeach a president. Again, not saying it's going to happen, not saying it isn't going to happen. I'm just saying where you go from here, assuming that there is a smoking gun and valuable and verifiable information in the FBI and they ignored it underneath the DOJ. Oh, that would be a very large problem, not only politically coming up in the next election, but that would also be a problem for the rest of the term, which would affect our gun rights and their gun control agenda. And that's what I've got for you guys. Make sure you subscribe and like the video and stay tuned for more. Anything that comes up, I will let you guys know. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.